A lot of people have asked in the comments if it's difficult to become a fighter pilot in the US Air Force. My name is Moto Walsh. I flew F-16s for 20 years in the Air Force and I recently retired. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not easy, but it's doable. You go through high school and you need to go to college. You need a college degree in order to fly an aircraft in the US Air Force right now. During that time, I went through the ROTC program and the ROTC was kind of like another college course that was added on where I learned about the military and it was a gateway into the military. Another way you can do it is by going to the Air Force Academy. A third option is going through officer training school, which is get your degree first and then go through the military top off program. So I went through ROTC at the end of college was when you get selected for pilot training. Whatever you've done recently is how you get ranked against your classmates, against other people trying to do the same thing as you. So coming out of high school, they look at your transcripts in high school. They look at your GPA, your extracurricular activities, those sorts of things to be selected not only for college, but also for the ROTC program. Once in the ROTC program going through college, they look at your college GPA, your college extracurricular. And then at the end of that program, you get selected for pilot training. Right now, about 65% of students coming out of college get selected for pilot training. They have to be eligible. So you have to meet the medical requirements and all the minimum requirements that the Air Force has, which you can find online. But if you meet those requirements, about 65% of people get a pilot slot. So you need to be in the top 65% of your ROTC class uh, graduating out there. Then after that, you go to pilot training and in phase one, everyone flies the same airplane. It's a T6 Texan too. Every day that you're in pilot training, you're graded and you're ranked against all the other students in your class. If you want to fly fighters, be at the top of your class. You got to work hard for that. It's doable. It's not easy, but it's doable. If you're near the top of your class, then at the end of phase one of pilot training, you get tracked either towards fighters and bombers or towards mobility aircraft, cargo, tankers, those sorts of things. If you want to fly fighters and bombers, if you're in the top couple people of your class, you get to go to the fighter bomber track. Once there, you fly the T-38, same concept applies. You get graded on everything you do throughout the program. It's about six months long. And then at the end of it, you get to select what airplane you want. If you're the number one student in your class, you usually get your first choice. So be the number one student and then you don't have to worry about it. So when people say, is it hard to become a pilot? It is. It's also hard to do a lot of things in life, right? Then once you get selected for an airplane, that's on your drop night, you get to fill out a dream sheet and say, these are the airplanes I wanna fly and the Air Force matches you based on your rank in the class, based on the needs of the Air Force. And then you go on to your fighter training unit, FTU, which is where I learned how to fly the F-16. Just know that everything you do, every step of the way, you're working towards a goal. My goal is to be a fighter pilot in the Air Force. Each step of the way, I worked hard towards that goal. It's a good question. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what questions you have and I'll answer them in a video. Best of luck to you. Like and follow for more.